All right, that was about an hour from Atlanta. I'm at the Okmulgee Mounds National Monument. And uh, again, the weather's beautiful. No more heat wave. So this is a visitor center. About um, 1,500 feet is the um, is a bridge that's 8.6 feet. Uh, like you have to be 8.6 feet or, or lower, like shorter. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, hang on one second. Let me put me on camera because I've been on camera this whole day. <laughs> anyway, so I got like um, hat hair from the airplane, not hat hair, but like airplane hair where you like get all bunched up because you're like laying on the sleep on the seat or whatever. I'm so tired. Okay. Um, so this is Okmulgee Mounds National Monument. <laughs> it's an Indian, uh, Indian mounds in the middle of Georgia. And <laughs> there's a lot of these hidden gems. It's really, really good. So I'm gonna check out the visitor center and I won't be able to go a thousand feet further because there's a bridge. So I'm gonna walk over to the mounds. I think that's what it is. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go figure out where to park up. It's, it's cool enough to stay in the bed. I need to lay down for a bit, take a nap. This closes at five, so maybe I can stay here till five. Uh, the gates close at five, or go call the Cracker Barrel and see if I can sleep there. Anyway, Prudence is good though, she feels good. Good to be back in the van, there's a blue sky. It's very bright out here. Oh, this is the same brochure. It is, this okay. Cool. Um, so inside here is our museum and exhibits going all the way back to the last ice age. It wraps around the room. Like a giant timeline with more into the back. Okay. <laughs> then you also have your 17 minute park film that's upon request. So okay. At any time, if you'd like to see that, let us know. We'd be happy to get it started. Right out there, it's a little glary, but you can uh, see that's where the mounds are. All right, I'm going to check out the store. This is cool. Okmulgee Mounds. I've been here for over a thousand years. Lots of books. I need to get more books. I, I have tons. I lost a lot during the flooding when I lost my home in 2016, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, they have Junior Ranger program. This is part of National Park Service. I need to get a magnet. They got stickers. This is fantastic. They got dream catchers as well. I already have one of those from New Mexico. Oh, these are nice. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a get a magnet. Get a wooden magnet. I'm getting a collection of wooden magnets these days, so. So I'm gonna get this magnet, and then they have petroglyph magnets, which are really cute, actually. I've seen a lot of petroglyphs, like in Albuquerque, they're really cool. I've seen them in, um, uh, was it a Red Rock open space in uh, Las Vegas? They also have all the different types of knives. Who knew? So I'm gonna get a petroglyph, I'm gonna get a little lizard guy. These are so cute. <laughs> All right, so this tells you about all the petroglyphs. Um, I got two magnets, so I can read about which ones I got. I got like a little lizard and then a little family being chased by a guy with a spear, unfortunately. Um, this, is, this is really great. I love this stuff. We never learned any of this in England. I mean, we didn't ever learn anything. I mean, we did some cultural thing when I was like eight years old where I had to have my mom make me like an outfit like this one over here. I think she made it out of like some old curtains. And I think we did like a Native American dance in the Cassaberry Park in Watford. And that was about it. <laughs> so it wasn't anything. It was just, I think it was just cultural appropriation in the 80s. I don't think we actually learned anything or taught anyone anything. We just danced. I just remember that. Um, yeah. But we never learned anything else. This is really cool. If you want to watch the 17 minute movie, you have to ask the ranger see if we can watch it. There's no one in here. Maybe I'll watch it. Okay. 17 minutes. Yeah, I'll watch it. the video she's putting it on right now should be coming on soon and there's this group outside they're like oh we could live in these dwellings and we want to live in an earth ship I'm like I've totally seen them already in, in Taos so it's nice when I've traveled I've been everywhere I could be like I've been there done that okay let's watch the video Georgia 
The woodland peoples built stone effigy mounds, burial mounds, and temple mounds. All right, so the video is great. I'm gonna walk down, uh, since I can't drive the road, I'll get stuck and I'll lose half my roof. I'm gonna walk down to the um, to the mound. It's getting hot now, it's in the 80s, but it's good. So this is the Earth Lodge, the Great Temple Mound, Funeral Mound, and the and a one and a half miles is the Okmogi River. Okmogi River? I can't speak. Anyway. Um, very unpronounceable words, but <laughs> it's all history that we should learn. Um, so this reminds me of the, what was it called? The Hoogie Ben or something. It was something, something on, um, was it Jersey? Jersey Cows, Isle of Man. I got to look it up, but somewhere in one of the Crown Dependencies, either Isle of Man, Jersey or Guernsey, I went to their burial mounds and it was the Haugi, I'll put it on the screen, it was like Haugi, Haugi Do or something, it had some strange name. Um, but yeah, so I went to that um, and you got to go inside and stuff. It was, I mean, it was just one little mound and a couple other ruins. Um, but it was really interesting, kind of like to see how they lived, you know, back then. Um, this is beautiful, great to stretch my legs. I am thoroughly exhausted. I just called uh, an RV park that is in a Shriners temple because we're in the part of the country where there's all these like offshoots of Christianity. Um, so the Shriners, I guess they're down here. And I'm in, I'm in Macon, Macon, Georgia right now. I'm getting into the deep south. Um, so that's why I like doing this history and not, you know, putting my money in the bad history. <laughs> um, I mean, you have to learn all the history, but I'm not going to go tore a plantation like any of that bullshit um this is much more interesting but anyway um so that aside uh it's 40 dollars for the rv park i was like screw that so i'm gonna call crack a barrel right now and see if i can park there if not there's the loves you know i can just park at a truck stop so i don't think georgia is uh, gonna have a problem with parking overnight it says no parking overnight at the rest area i just went through on the way down here um, but i think that's just to stop people from living at the rest area because at the one that was in Atlanta, the lady goes, yeah, yeah, you can sleep here overnight. We don't care. We just put that sign up. So I'll have to find out. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going uphill. <laughs> Why am I climbing uphill? And I'm in flip-flops and I'm tired with only like two and a half, three hours of sleep. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be in Macon tomorrow for the um, Air and Space Museum at the uh, Air Force Base, which I have privileges to get onto. So I haven't been on Air Force Base since Minot. <laughs> So that'll be good. Get checked in. I get to go see the museum. And then I'm just driving to Florida. I'll be in uh, St. Augustine tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening. So I do need to figure out where the hell I'm going to sleep in Florida. <laughs> so right now I only have uh, Key West planned out, which you will see on a future video. I'm not going not gonna to say any surprises of how I pulled that one off. But um, anyway, okay. Oh, I want to roll down the hill, but you're not allowed to. So this is a burial mound. So there's probably dead people in it. Cool. Let's go inside. So in the 17 minute video I watched, it said that Okmogi's Earth Lodge is America's oldest ceremonial lodge. And it was built around before the year th uh, 1000 and then it was burned down. So this is like the remnants of it. So they've rebuilt it, obviously. Ooh, let's go in so scary. Oh, it's nice and cold in here. Okay, so this is approximately built in the year 1000. And it's uh, America's oldest ceremonial lodge. The other group's in there. I just went in, but I didn't hit record. So I'm gonna do this again, take two. Um, so yeah, obviously this was rebuilt because it was burned down around the year 1000. So I'm gonna go in right now, try not to hit my head and try not to hit stop on the record. It smells like moldy wood. Let's go in and see what they're talking about. Okay, in I go. All right. Okay, I'm gonna walk out now. It's uh, cold in here because it's air conditioned, so that's good. I will take all the air conditioning I can get. This is interesting. So yeah, I found this place. I was trying to find things to do on the way down to Florida just to kind of break up the drive. And um, yeah, this is gonna be a fun two weeks. I have not been to Florida except layovers in Orlando uh, and Miami. I've not been to Florida in um, quite a number of years, actually. Uh, I think the last time I was here was with Harriet in 2015 when I went to Disney World with her. And I had this little uh, Tula carrier 
had somebody make me a Mickey Mouse cover you can see on this photo and she loved it she loved all of the um, character meet and greets she's only three at the time so we only went on like one or two rides um, but she loved the character meet and greets we had the fast pass um, so I think what I'm going to do this time just for shits and giggles um, I think I'm going to see if I can find in Houston one of those like Disney travel agents to see if they can organize a one person veteran <laughs> discounted uh, one or two days at the park because I would like to go to Disney World on my own and, and I know it's doable I've gone to theme parks on my own all the time um, but I want to see if I can do like the single rider uh, fast pass and just kind of like breeze through the park um, I can bring in food so that's fine I went to Publix so I got snacks uh, I'll get my Dole Whip but I think that's what I want to do I want to see if I can do that in a couple days I'm so tired though I gotta walk all the way down here now oh no walking <laughs> no it's good it's been a long day I got up at 2 a.m. to fly out here um, but it's great this is really fun this is such a random thing you're in like this regular town with just like McDonald's, Dunkin Donuts, all that stuff, Krispy Kreme, which I've not had those in years. I don't think Harriet's ever had a Krispy Kreme donut. She likes, I usually get the Shipley's because it's right near my house, but uh, Donutlicious is our favorite, as you can see. Um, we love Donutlicious. Uh, they even made her Lego donuts one year. Um, I had them design them and make them for her to take to school with her. Um, so that was pretty cool because I'm that kind of mom. Anyway, <laughs> always doing wacky stuff. Um, but yeah, so you, you just drive through this town, all of a sudden you're in this middle of this, you know, freaking nature field. And it's really nice. I'm a big fan of green spaces like this. We can just kind of get away. It's good for PTSD. It's good if you're, you have trauma or you just want to deal with anxiety and stuff like that or just stretch your legs. It's very mobility friendly. So yay, good job, Oak Morgie, uh National National Monument. And they have rangers and they were all informative and everything so yeah a little buggy but it's cooling down so i'm hoping the next two weeks at least before i get out of here and go back to new mexico I, i'm hoping the next two weeks is not going to be too insanely hot it'll be in the 80s down in key west it won't get any cooler than the 80s um but i'll have hookups so that will be fine again i'll tell you more about that later um now i just got to find somewhere to sleep tonight but at least i'm out of out, out of atlanta so that's good so and there's a field of flowers and bugs. All right, over the bridge that goes over the railroad tracks, uh, we get to the other part of the park. And you can drive to this. I don't know. Oh, that's, you can climb up. Okay, cool. This is quite a bit of a walk, though. Probably not good to do in flip-flops, and it is quite hot, but I've got my hat on, and I'm covered. And yeah. See, I don't know like how, I mean, I watched the video. I just don't know how they found these. <laughs> I guess they've been around for a while. Um, but it's really nice that they preserved it and they didn't just like, you know, fuck it up like <laughs> most places do. A lot of small towns when they discover something like Linville Caverns, Linville, the Grandfather Mountain, Linville, all that stuff. Absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful part of North Carolina, right in Smoky Mountains. And unfortunately, Linville Caverns, if you see that video, all of the bats are dead because they got the white nose syndrome. So I don't think they did um, a great job in making sure that people's feet were sanitized and stuff. I think they just opened it up, you know, decades ago for tours and built it up and stuff. All those construction workers and lo and behold, the poor little bats are no longer there. And that's really bad because if you don't have bats, then you have too many mosquitoes because bats eat the mosquitoes. And that's why you have more bats in places like Austin. Um, because you have horrible mosquitoes there. They're worse than Houston. Um, but yeah, uh, if you don't have mosquitoes, or if you have too many mosquitoes, then you have no crops. And then all of the, all the food dies. So you need bats. Bats are very important. And they look like little chicken nuggets. Okay, no bats here. Oh, this is the road over here. So no bats here. So now I'm going to go to the Great Temple Mound and go check that out. And then head back. So this is great. Very, very short walk though, probably half a mile at the most, maybe a mile, one and a half miles round trip. This is great, so there it is. All right, this is the parking lot that I cannot access because I can't get under that old carriage bridge. Um, there is a trail over here and alligators. Oh my God, this is fantastic. I would love to come back here. If I'm coming back through this way, 
um, I'm definitely going to come back and do some proper hikes. So this is the um, Opalofa Trail, Boardwalk River Trail. Awesome. And they have ticks here. I've only had one tick bite and it did nothing to me, so I lucked out. But yeah, so I'll definitely do some proper hikes when I have not flip-flops on. So that's the path I walk down. So I'm going to go walk up here. And this is great. It is a Monday. It is a Monday at like three o'clock in the afternoon and this whole place the gates and everything lock at five so uh, i came at the right time who knew <laughs> you know i tell you something i traveled internationally for 20 years longer than that obviously i was born in another country um but the u.s as much as our politics suck our economy sometimes goes down the drain you know our media whatever celebrities all that stuff it is freaking gorgeous I tell you this country driving through every state and I definitely definitely need to go back to many many of those states and really explore more so um, after this trip I'm going to New Mexico when I'm done with the last three national parks and go hang out in New Mexico for a few weeks um, maybe explore Utah southern Utah before it starts snowing maybe go back to the mighty five I don't know <laughs> there's a lot I want to do so this is cool it is all uphill though. Accessible though. I mean, it's not, it's not treacherous. All right, I'm on the top of the mound and you have to walk up all these steps and everything. So there's great expanse of trees and a view of Macon, Macon, Georgia. Macon, Macon. It only has one C. All right. I don't think we can go in it though. I mean, how do they know it's a burial mound? It could just be a hill. I mean, it's kind of square, so maybe it was deliberately built. I don't know. There's more over there. This is great. Yeah, I walked really far. I walked from all the way over there. And that group's coming back over too. <laughs> they were talking like total bullshit shit. Like, one guy was like all like pseudo facts. You know, there's always one guy in a group who's like, well, you know, I think this was built for blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I didn't even watch the video. I watched the video. I'm pretty sure the video is accurate. Anyway, so all you can do is just come to the top here. It's just like a little social trail that's been created. And that's it. Nice view of the town. Cracker Barrel does allow uh, parking overnight. So as long as I'm there before nine, which will be definitely a thing, so I think I'm going to go, I'm tired, uh, I think I'm going to go park outside of Starbucks for a few hours and then park outside Cracker Barrel. Hopefully there's a Starbucks next to Cracker Barrel, we'll see. Ah, first day of the ninth leg of my trip, I think, eighth leg? I think this is the eighth leg of the trip. I'm officially an octopus, the eighth tentacle. So yeah, so ah, I didn't think I'd be done this quickly though. I thought I'd be still going through the next, you know, January of next year, but breeze through it, get the last three parks done, epic adventures, and then just, you know, then play. Play and continue my research, like on more of a state park level and things to do in the states rather than the national park level. So it took me just over three years to do all the national parks in lower 48. And now I get to go back and explore all of the amazing state parks. And that's gonna be fun. I did all of the 89 state parks in Texas already. And yeah, I think that's my goal is to just kind of get through every state park in the states that I really like. So, um, and you know, find the hidden gems. Anyway, okay, I'm going to walk down and uh, head back over to the van and get out of here before they lock the gate. All right, here's my home for the night, Mr. Cracker Barrel. This is great. This is going to be super quiet. This is not even like no RVs or anything. They said I can park. I did call. So let me find out what side I park on. Okay, I think I'm going to park over here. There is like a bigger parking lot, but I think if I park over here, it's fine. And I'm going to park under this light over here. All right, there's Prue. She's actually lopsided. I'm going to park actually behind that U-Haul, but there's Cracker Barrel. I don't think I've eaten at a Cracker Barrel since college. <laughs> that was like over 25 years ago. So let me go in. It's just like, it's like an antique store and a restaurant together. It's kind of funny. 
Okay, let's go in the first time. I actually never go in this this place, even though I've parked here before. So yeah, I think I'm not gonna park. I'm gonna park next to the U-Haul, that's better. So I have literally never been in this part of the store. So they have Christmas stuff. <laughs> it's not even September. And then they have Georgia stuff. I don't know sports though. These are cute though. I mean, they're very like religious-y. I mean, do you really need the thousand piece jigsaw puzzle for the Last Supper? Yeah, this is very much not my vibe. <laughs> so um anyway it's cute though if it's what you're into i can do peanuts though i did the um i have some pictures of it the charlie brown christmas uh christmas tree in my office one year <laughs> so this is funny i don't need anything yeah they just did on the little um microphone to let them know that i'm i'm parking overnight so that's so cool he's all like all right cool he's like just let you know there's a camper van parking in the back <laughs> This is so nice, you know, this is what, like, I'm not religious, but this is what religion should be. Religion should just be, open your parking lots, let us park. So, really cute. I do need a, uh, do need a candle. Ah, uh, maybe I should not get one right now. Okay. <laughs> this is so creepy. I do not know what that's about. <laughs> oh, look, he's climbing. Okay, now I'm out of Christmas in September. Okay, I'm just gonna park next to the um, U-Haul in the back over here, that's better. Cause there's a few people walking on the road randomly. So, plus I'm actually lopsided over here. This is great, what a great day. I'm thoroughly exhausted. I got two videos, one video done and uploaded. Well, it's uploading. Uh, second video I'm uh, working on Highland uh, Mountain Bike Park. It's kind of hard cause I have all the GoPro footage. The um, yeah and then i went to see something and did a short little hike which i sh i didn't even like do it on my strava but it was probably about a mile or two and tomorrow is going to be a air museum and heading into florida so last day in georgia tomorrow so i got base privileges i already got groceries so i don't think i need to go to the commissary but i would like to go to the px and get some tactical gear you know just for like the apocalypse and stuff all right thank you cracker barrel you're awesome. I guess I'm just going to stay at Cracker Barrels all the way through Florida then. I'm pretty sure they will allow you to do that. Although I think it's going to probably be a lot busier. Um, but people that are in RVs, they generally don't want to like park at rest areas or, you know, they want like free camping, which is fine. Or they want campsites to hook up. So unless they run a generator, which I'm not allowed to do. Anyway. Okay. Good night. I will see you. That's it for today. I'll see you on the next episode when I'm at the Air Museum.